The class of 2023 in the state of Alabama is absolutely stacked with talent, and I want to talk about three of the guys that I believe Alabama is in prime position to land to kind of kickstart this class of 2023. But before we dive into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give this video a huge thumbs up. And while you're there, jump in the comment section and answer today's question. Which in-state prospect do you want Alabama to land the most? Jump in the comments and let me know. All right, the three guys that I want to look at today is Tony Mitchell, Jaleel Hurley, and Peter Woods. Let's just start with Peter Woods, a five-star defensive lineman prospect from Thompson High School, standing at 6'3", around 260 pounds. He's kind of at the tweener right now because not sure if he's going to play end or tackle there at the next level because of his size. He's still growing into his frame, has a lot of room to grow, and he could grow into a guy like a Quentin Williams because he has that quick twitch ability that Quentin Williams had. That's who he reminds me of the most. I think he's an explosive athlete who has a high ceiling, and his best football is ahead of him. So I'm excited about Peter Woods, and I think Album is in a great spot to land him. Keeping it at Thompson High School, I'm, I want to look at Tony Mitchell, the five-star cornerback prospect, standing at six foot two, 180 pounds. You know that prototypical Nick Saban defensive back uh, guy like Kool-Aid McKinstry, Patrick Sertan, all those guys that are over six foot tall that he loves with great length and great athleticism. Tony Mitchell fits that mold, and I think he has he has a chance to be a really special football player down the road. And uh, I believe Album is also in great position to land him as well. Keeping it in the defensive backfield, I want to look at Jaleel Hurley, a guy from Florence, Alabama. He's a guy who also stands at six foot two, around 170 pounds. Just incredible length there for the cornerback position. You know, you look at guys like Patrick Sertan and Kool-Aid McKinstry, uh, guys that Nick Saban has targeted in the past, Trayvon Diggs. They got that great length and ball skills. That's what Nick Saban is looking for. That's what you need in today's football with all the explosiveness of the offense. You need a guy who can cover multiple guys, both at the wide wide receiver position, the, the tight end position, whatever it may be. You need guys that have great length and great athleticism there in the back end of your defense. Jaleel Hurley and Tony Mitchell fit that. And I believe Album is going to land all three of these guys that I'm talking about, both uh, Peter Woods, Tony Mitchell, and Jaleel Hurley. Alabama is in prime position to land all three of those players, and that would be a great start on this class of 2023. There are there are probably 10 guys in this class that would be considered takes from the state of Alabama. Just an absolutely loaded class for 2023. I'm, I'm having trouble remembering a better in-state class than this class. So really excited about all these guys. I can't wait to kind of dive into some film and look at some of these other prospects around the state of Alabama because there are several, like I said, that have a chance to play at Alabama. So I want I want to look at those guys, bring more videos to you talking about those guys. But I want to talk about these three players uh, specifically because I believe Album is in great shape with all three of these guys, and they would be great additions to this class of 2023. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate everybody tuning in. If you're not subscribed already, smash that subscribe button right now. Do us a great favor. Help us continue to create some content here on our channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, roll tide.